Hello friends and welcome back to me, Self-Critical Automaton, playing Dark Souls. I, uh, yeah, I did a little bit more than just, uh, just Corpse Run in between that episode and this one. Um, don't worry, you haven't missed anything. I just ran off and upgraded some weapons and armor and generally did that kind of stuff. Also, you may notice, ah, yeah, I'm using, um, Solaire's straight sword since, you know, the sword and the shield go together. Although I should probably try a spear because... I think that the spears generally look really good with this shield. It's kind of like a, like a hoplite look. So, yeah, also I thought since it's dark it might help to put the sunlight maggot on my head. Because um, while I learnt many things from Solaire, being sensible around brain-eating maggots is not one of them. Mind you, since he fell for that, I don't suppose. He could really have taught me otherwise. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to check this this little nook over here, see what we've got, and then uh, continue on into the drowned New Londo. Amazing Ember ahead. No, that's good. The um, I've upgraded this sword to plus ten, but to upgrade it to plus fifteen, which is the, the maximum level, um, I have to get the biggest Ember, which I don't have yet then take that to Andre, as per usual. Is it over here, or did I go the wrong way or something? There's a lot of um, tightly coiled corridors around here. Um, nope, that is not where it is. Is there a...? Nope. Nope, no secret walls here. So, um, yeah, something I touched on last episode that I meant to talk about more but got distracted from was um, that it's in interesting just that... How to phrase this best? How to phrase this best? In uh, fantasy stories, you've always, you know, got... Ah, fantastic. You've always got a chest with a big ember in it. Oh, look, a ghost. <laughs> oh, that's... I think that might be the screaming ghost that we fought before. Anyway, um... Yeah, so... There's very often this trope of the, like, the great sacrifice that was... That was done to, you know, seal away the ancient evil. But you're never really confronted. It's not in games, and, and rarely in fantasy in general. Are you confronted with the reality of what that means? It's... In Dark Souls that you are. You actually see, you know, these um, poor souls, you know, just silted up against the the grand doors of their, of their kingdom. That's where I came from. Um, it's, if it is done, it's often done for, you know, shock value or kind of... I want to say titillation, but that's not quite right. But sort of like it's not done with an actual conceptual purpose in mind. But again, Dark Souls is the fantasy story that actually does, you know, think deeply about what it's saying and what it what it's doing and what it means. Is this where I came from? Ah oh, no, this is the next area. So yeah. So it's yeah, kind of it's horrible, but it confronts you with the reality of what that means. It confronts you with what that sacrifice actually was, and what the people who decided to make that sacrifice have weighing on their conscience. Because they are ultimately responsible for having killed an entire city full of people in order to contain the abyss, so to speak. Um... So, yeah, there's not that much. Oh, this was that. Uh, it was a wall I found last time. <laughs> um, I thought that invisible walls remained open once you opened them. I don't think I've ever seen one reappear. So, I should be able to find my way to the boss from here fairly easily. Unless I've got lost, which is quite easy to do. Um... Okay then. <laughs> ah, okay, yeah, this leads out around to that front door. Um, 
but that's not where I'm trying to go. So, yeah, it's kind of a dark and confusing place, really, which is understandable when you consider that it's been underwater. That <laughs> it's in a cave, and it's been in underwater for forever. Um, yeah, so... Oh, that's back where we came from. This is getting irritating. Maybe I should... maybe I should cut to where I'm going? Am I even in the right area? Um... Okay, this is getting ridiculous. There's a staircase I'm looking for, but, um, can't seem to find it. This is... over here, this is... Um, hmm. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. That's no, that's awful dive I've fallen in there. Um Okay, this is getting ridiculous. Come on, Auto, how many times have you done this? Actually not that many. I've played through this game a lot of times, but I generally um haven't Ah! Ha 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 Fuck it, I'm not cutting all that. I'm uh way too tired. Now up here I think there's another Oh, yeah, there's another Dark Wraith. And there's also another uh, glob of souls. And there's ghosts, because of course there's fucking ghosts. Oops. Did that cost me a charge? No, it didn't. Okay, good. Have I been charged for this? But yeah, um, because of the big round look of this shield, it looks really good when you use a, a spear with it. You get like this whole hoplite aesthetic. And, um, yeah. I realised that, you know, it taking two or three hits to do as much damage as the Black Knight Sword does in one hit is actually not that good of a trade-off when I can get those hits in that much faster. Oh, I should probably use a curse in case that ghost is still there. Right. Hopefully I'll make it to the bosses today, but I'm not expecting to actually beat them. Disgusting. One of the times Dark Souls really looks its age is when you is when you see uh when you see things that are supposed to be like fluid or liquidy on the edge of something. It's um quite noticeable with the um the pyromancies that leave like lava on the floor. If you cast that at a wall you get a puddle of lava levitating in the air, which is a bit of a palaver. <laughs> No, uh, don't, don't judge me, please. Oh, that wasn't him, that was another ghost. How many of you fuckers are there? I mean, I know there was an entire city, but not all of you became ghosts. Um, let's see. Those, um, soul blobs create those ghost heads, which is, uh, weird. Very strange. Don't just shake your head. There we go. So, I think I mentioned the other frustrating thing about working your way through New Londo is that it has no bonfire. Why does it have no bonfire? For the very um, simple and frankly legit reason that um, it was underwater for forever. I mean, that's, that's not unreasonable if you think about it. In terms of game design, I would expect, I would have expected a designer to put one here regardless simply because it's well not unfair but it's it's harsh on the player to have them do this whole thing without access to one but it's underwater you know they might be magic bonfires but they still need to burn and you can't burn underwater so no bonfires aha this is the summon sign of my good friend witch beatrice if you recall, we summoned her to help us when we fought the uh, Moonlit Butterfly. Is it Moonlit or Moonlight? I don't suppose it matters. And um, she's very useful in the Four Kings fight because the Four Kings are weak to magic. They are surprisingly not weak to fire, but fire is oddly effective against them. They don't have a, like an official programmed in weakness, but it's just remarkably effective against them. And I 
consider these guys to be the toughest fight in the game, so I'm probably going to lose brutally. I'm just going to um, get rid of these and add this and... Do I have... Ah, I do have some gold pine resin. I should probably use that as well. Check my weight. That's fine. Oh, and I will need to equip the Covenant of Artorias, because otherwise you die immediately. There we go. I'd rather, I'd really quite like to have the Chloranthi ring, but I don't want to break the favour and protection, so, um, yeah, here we go. Um, <laughs> at the bottom of this staircase is the Abyss, and you can actually drop off the top straight all the way... What's she... Why is she wasting her spells? That's quite frustrating. Um, you can drop straight down from the top to the bottom, but it's quite easy to accidentally land on one of these sticky-outy bits and kill yourself, so... It's just generally better to run all the way down to the bottom and then drop off at the last the last level. So, which Beatrice either will essentially destroy this boss for you, or she will be completely useless. It's um just the way of things, really. Here we are in the Abyss. Now... What I like about this is this is a proper this is a properly abyssal abyss. Like, there's nothing here. It's just abyss. There's nothing. These guys come from an almost impossible to tell distance as they zoom in towards you. Um, more than four kings can appear, but um, if you kill them fast enough, you can kill the individual specific kings themselves. Basically, one will appear, and then 30 seconds later, another one appears, up until four of them. But um, killing four of them is not what you need to do to beat them. You need to do enough damage to them overall. Where is Beatrice, and why is she not helping me? Um, so, as you can see, they have a shared health bar at the bottom, and they have an individual health bar um, on, on each of them. So... If I can whittle this guy down fast enough, I can deal with the next one a bit more easily. Because they will uh, they will overwhelm you, because there's lots of them! They max out at four. I don't think more than four can be in the room at any one time, but that doesn't mean... Like, if you kill one of them, then there's three, which means that another one will spawn. Which is super goddamn frustrating. And where is Beatrice? Where is she? She's not here. Why is she not helping me? I don't think she even jumped down. Oh shit, now there's... yeah, now there's three. Uh, it might be more than 30 seconds, it might not. Uh. Yeah, so they all... Sh it's really hard to fight them because it's quite hard to tell where they are. Like, it, you, it's very hard... you can't judge distance because there's no reference points. Um... Oh, he's gonna do the... Yeah, this is, this is not going well. This is going pretty, pretty badly. And I'm dead. I'm dead. No surprises there. So, yeah. Probably the entirety of next episode is going to be me dying on these guys. On the bright side, I can show you, you know, that actually I should probably wear a proper hat. I mean, the extra protection is kind of unnecessary, really, against in this fight, because, you know, <laughs> they'll fuck me up either way. Magic defense is good, though. Um, where's the rest of that set? That's got good magic defense. Here we go. Gold hand black gloves, not as good. Um, gold hand black skirt, much better. So, yeah. Um, Maybe I will finally change this. Oh wow, that drops my 14. It'll drop my my weight by 14, my weight capacity. Uh, what's half of 70? It's 35. What's half of 35? It's uh, 15, 16, 17.5. So I'll have to lose some weight as well if I take that off. Um, do I even have the magic stone plate ring? I have the speckled ring. Mm. There's, a, there's a stone plate ring for each elemental type, but I don't seem to have found it. I think I'll leave the, that ring on then. Oh, I should probably switch to a... Haha! -ha. 
Yep, I am dressed like an old lady now, but that's not really a surprise to anyone. Um, I'm not going to bother being human because one of the things about um, summoning someone in to help you in a fight is that uh, that does actually increase the amount of health the boss has. And since Beatrice didn't even fucking, you know, come with me down to the to the boss room, uh, yeah, I'm just going to assume that that means she's not going to be any very helpful. Where's my bottomless box? Here we go. Now, I should have some shields that are good for magic. Greatly reduces fire, greatly reduces magic. That's the one. That's 80%. Um, oh, that's actually in my inventory already. Can I upgrade it? Do I have enough stuff? Or do I need twinkling titanite? I actually could buy some twinkling titanite from the, uh, the giant blacksmith. Might be worth doing. Uh, it only increases the stability, so I probably won't bother then. Right, um... Yeah, so as you can see, that's 30 magic re reduction, so this one bumps it up to 80. And... Yeah. It'd be nice if I had a... Um, do I have anything that does magic damage? Actually, I do have something that does magic damage. I have the Enchanted Falchion. I'm pretty sure they're weak to magic damage. Don't quote... Actually, no, do quote me on that. I'm certain that they're weak to magic damage. Um, so, yeah. How's my weight? Still fine. 16.2. Oh, that's actually below 17, so it might be worth a go. Um, but what should I use? Let's go... Well, I mean, Chloranthi is, you know... A good ring. It's one of the best rings in the game, as I've said before. Um, but yeah, so I'm not going to be summoning in um, Beatrice again. Although I do, I'm quite fond of her, and she looks cool. She's got the whole uh, witch look. Interesting. She's actually not. She's kind of like one of the characters who's not really explained in any way. You can find her equipment later on, uh, which is described as being um, like. Which indicates that she taught herself magic. She hasn't learned the soul sorceries of Vinheim or whatever. Um, but she's taught herself her own form of sorcery. That said, she's, the spells she uses are still um, standard spells from the game. So, I'm going to try and be awfully clever here. I am just going to zip on straight through. And this is why I'm not cutting this boss run. If I die again, I'll cut it. But for this one... I'm going to um, just see if I can show you the fast way to do this. Which is not the fastest way to do this, because I can't remember how to do the fastest way to do this. Because I hate New Londo and generally try to avoid bothering with it. If you come over here and you drop down here, this is where the big staircase was. Or rather, over here is the... no, it's this way. So this way. Oh, that was fucking dumb, wasn't it? I'm so embarrassed. I'm so embarrassed. I'm so embarrassed. I'm just going to end this episode here. I don't... I don't really think I deserve to continue this episode right now. Oh, God. I'm just going to... Uh... I do not have an emoticon able to... An emoticon? I don't have a... I don't have a, uh, a gesture fit to express my myself right now. Oh well. Bye.